This project is looking at out of classroom activities. One software that I have used is Kia, which you can find on www.kia.com. The first thing you need to do is either register an account or log on using your college details, which is what I'm going to do now. Simply log on, which will take you onto your college's homepage where you can store activities, quizzes and surveys that colleagues may have set up. If this is the first time you are using Kia, you may find the Tutorial Centre of particular use to you, which you find on the left hand side column. On this Tutorial Centre, it gives you information about what activities are and also what quizzes are, and how you can actually use them in order to create activities and quizzes. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk through how you set up an activity and also show you how you can share that link with your learners. If you wish to do this in more depth in your own time, you will find these, these links useful. Once you click on them, you will see that it goes through a PowerPoint that Kia have set up, which will talk you through each of the stages. This one is just loading. These are designed to help people go through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can set up activities and quizzes and also classes to aid your um, effective use of Kia.com. When you're ready to start an activity, what you need to do is click on the left-hand link called Activities. This will take you to a page whereby you can then um, pick which activities you would like to create for your learner. There are several different types of activities that you can pick from, which is this drop down list here. You can pick the most appropriate one based on your group of learners, their age, and what you're trying to get them to test when you get them to do the activity. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to pick the first option, which is flashcards, matching, concentration, and a word search. Once you click go on this, this will take you to the description of and title of what your activity is. Here, for example, I will fill in um, the details that I would, would want my Kia quiz to be about. Once you're happy that you've picked the, t the title and the description of your test, what you're going to do is you're going to either detail the, answer, the questions and the answers in these boxes down here, or you're going to import some, image, uh, some terms that you may have saved elsewhere. When you are ready, you're going to type in the questions in the first column, followed by the answer in the second. You are the only person who will be able to see these until the activity is actually published. Once you have listed all of your answers, you can either add more terms or import a list. You're going to pick what type of activities you would like to do. For example, if you do not mind that it's flashcard, matching, concentration or word search, keep all the boxes ticked and this will mean that it will randomise what activity comes up. However, if I would just like it to be a, a flashcard or a matching activity, I will uncheck the other boxes, make sure that I'm happy that the activity is completed and I will click done. Be careful if you choose this particular option, as you will need to define at least eight unique pairs. So therefore you need eight questions and eight answers in order to set up your activity. If this isn't the case, all you need to do is just continue editing. This will take you back to the original page and you can continue answering, uh, putting your questions and answers in. Make sure though that you do not press the back button on your cursor as this will take you back to the original page with no questions. Carry on typing your questions in here up to the, at least eight. Once you've clicked on done once you have your eight questions you will be sent to this particular link this will mean that you can either play the activity directly or you can email it to your learners if you click on the email activity this will then copy the hyperlink to um, a message box and you'll be able to add the learners email addresses directly alternatively what you can you can do is you can copy this URL and you can actually include that onto your virtual learning environment or send that in a text message or an email to your particular learners. If you were to click on that particular URL, what it will do is it will take you to the activity you have picked. You then get your randomized flashcards or matching activities. And once you click on, you can play the game and you will go through each of the questions. This will give you instant feedback um, as to whether or not you've got the questions right or wrong. 
So as an example, I have picked the matching activity. So what is the best way to share activity?